Hello everyone, you are in Endurance Laser Lab. In this video, we are going to show you how you can build your own DIY Galvo frame. So, uh, as you can see, we printed out all components that we need and uh, yeah, let's get started. So what do we need at the beginning? We need a table. So this is our fully 3D printed uh, part. All those parts are available on our Thingiverse. We use our Sino Galvo, um, Galvo head and we are going to install our dpss uh, laser model this is our 10 watt dpss laser model with beam expander but without focusing uh, focusing lens so we add a leg to the uh, to the top part so we use uh, m3 screws for each uh, leg. The good thing about this leg that uh, you can adjust height and to make it closer to the surface and we also use a uh, lifting table. Okay. And the last one. Okay, the rest uh, three legs will be assembled absolutely the same way so as you can see everything is uh, ready and now we will uplift this table so we are uplifting it and fix fix it on the maximum uh, height okay so the table is ready okay so uh, so now we need to uh, connect our galvo with our laser so we printed out this uh, part this mount and we will uh, add it to the galvo okay pavel is going to show you it's quite easy Okay, so uh, so now we add uh, Galvo to our table. Okay, so we already have uh, space over here. It's quite tight. And our thing for uh, for Galvo, uh, Galvo, and the laser where we put the laser head. We also will add a pivot a red laser. Oh, we call it pilot laser okay so we add uh, we put the laser on the laser holder uh, like this and mount so that will not fall down okay so we put our laser over here so we need to make sure that the height for the laser is the same as for our table okay now we cover the laser uh, with, with the top part okay looks good so we put everything now we need to screw it so Everything looks good. So our installation is ready. It's quite uh, well done. And now we need to uh, wire and connect our power supply. So in this box we have power supply for our laser. We have power supply for Galvo. And we have a board, control board for the Galvo. Okay, so uh, we have our LPT connector here and this one goes for our red small laser. 
Okay, the pivot laser is also uh, wired. Yeah. Okay, here is our LPT port for PWM, and it's uh, will be connected with our DPSS uh, laser model. Okay, let's plug it to a laptop. So we have USB there and over here. Power's on. Okay, let's run EZKAD software. I don't know how you guys pronounce it. And uh, we'll set up the laser and uh, our pivot red laser okay now we need to find the focus and that's why we'll run um, our dpss laser on minimum power so that you'll be able to see it the good thing about dpss is that you can easily see it uh, with your camera okay we'll uh, run a square uh, so you see it and we will yeah that, that's infrared uh, yeah now you can see it and you can hear it once again so, so here is a focus okay so now we need to start and check the laser pointer yeah I call it pivot laser but we can call it pointer as well and uh, okay so here is our regulation so we'll move it up and down and we'll see where it appears okay let's uh, let's see where it goes okay uh, you see our red laser. Okay, so now we need to make an engraving. Uh, okay, here's our starting point. Uh, we're engraving cross, and then we will uh, see where uh, red laser actually goes. So you see that it's it's over there, and the real engraving is here. So we need to make some adjustments okay let us show you parameters uh, that you need to set up in uh, in in the software to calibrate the uh, pointer red pointer with the original uh, laser beam so that that's engraves so on X you see that we adjusted uh, 6 millimeters uh, on X and Y we go down almost 20, so we have 19 millimeters. Okay, so you see our cross and our pilot, so uh, yeah, you see that it, it, it goes the same, not pilot, but uh, sorry, pointer. <laughs> okay, okay, and now we're going to engrave our endurance. Uh, okay, let's start. And you see the red uh, pointer, just we, we turn it off. Okay, it looks good. So don't forget to wear goggles all the time you operate the laser. And hope that you like this video, how to make your own DIY uh, Galvo system with uh, using endurance. You can use our 4 watt or 10 watt DPSS laser models. But uh, keep in mind that you need beam expander for your model. So uh, yeah, hope that you like it. Please uh, share it with your friends. Subscribe on our uh, YouTube channel. Visit our website endurancelasers.com and our online store endurance-lasers.com. And have a wonderful and great experience with our lasers. Bye bye.